this video, we're going to be looking at this racing go-kart that me and my brother built. All right, so this racing go-kart is a Falcon frame with tons of adjustments in it. Stage 3, Predator 212, 20 thousandths billet rod, billet flywheel, hot CM, 265 cam, Kermali push rods, stainless steel valves, and 26 pound valve springs. 22 millimeter Makuni carburetor, ported and polished head, and MSD spark plug wire. High end power exhaust header, exhaust wrap, and an ROV muffler. A little bit different than the four wheeler engine, have videos on that if you want to go check that out. Also, we have a detachable steering wheel, 3D motorsport manual clutch, which is kind of fiddly, but it works very well. Brakes on this thing are freaking sweet. Stops on a dime, uh, which is really what you want in a chassis like this. Kill switch and tachometer. Steering has all kind of different adjustments on it. Including tow in, tow out, camber and caster. These are some really nice racing wheels that we have. These are some old dry rotted bullcrap tires we have on the back, but we have some good tires sitting over there. Up here, we do have the body for it, but it looks really ugly, so we just keep it up here. By the way, this is a cardboard ship I made. In here, we have all kind of different sprockets for speed and acceleration. All right, so we have this foam in this seat right here because riding this go-kart without this foam, uh, it sucks. All right, so enough chit-chat. Let's go out and start this thing up. Another thing is, y'all, every couple of days, I got to come out here and pull on this engine some because otherwise the fuel drains out of the fuel pump and it's almost impossible to start, as I found out. Uh, this thing had to start up in a while. I do crank it up every now and then, but hopefully it should start up pretty easy and it won't be a butthole. All right, clutch in. It's very tiring after a little bit.
Aussie over, did do a crazy burnout with some Harbor Freight tires over there. Uh, now this recording, it was on my dad's phone, so it's not very good quality, but here it is. A stock 212 like this governed at 3600 rpms you know, i looked at the tachometer one time it was turning 9200 rpms so that is crazy for something like this to turn that high now you don't want to turn any higher because those blo these blocks aren't really reinforced because you can really split the block and that's why the tillotsons have that extra brace on it but and eh, whatever this works perfectly fine and y'all for a single cylinder engine to sound that good i'm really amazed Y'all, this is like the NASCAR engine of go-karts. The motorized bike, I run it a lot because of that extra piece in there, it makes it really quiet. Now, I do every now and then take that bottom piece out and make it sound really loud, but usually I keep that muffler part in it. The four-wheeler, yeah, since before, when I had the Sage 1 in it, it wasn't insanely loud, it was still loud, but it wasn't stupidly loud. This, the way I built it, put a bigger cam in it, yeah, it, it's definitely a lot louder. So I do ride it every now and then. A little bit more often than the racing go-kart, but I try not to because I really don't want to make the neighbors mad because once they get mad, then psh, we're probably not going to be riding this stuff anymore. The one-wheel drive go-kart, I can ride down around because it's 100% stock and, you know, everything's kind of fine with it. It's pretty much like a yard cart. The red thing, you know, it's, it's kind of loud. It has a blowing exhaust gasket, so that's why it's really loud. But, you know, every, I don't really run it very often because we don't really have a need in order to run it around, but I still run it to keep the fuel running through it. Jet ski over there, obviously I don't run that on the road. This lawnmower, once I get up and running, it'll have the muffler on it, so I could probably run this, you know, a good bit. Nitro Rustler, yep. With this resonator on it, I could still run it. It makes it a lot, it sounds a lot better with the resonator on it than that stock pipe. So yeah, this thing does sound really good. All right, y'all, this thing is so much fun. You know, every time I get in it, it always puts a smile on my face. Everything else we have, they still do put smiles on my faces, but this definitely puts a smile on my face. Getting in this, you know, it, it just is so much fun getting in it. Just revving it up, dumping the clutch. Like that, I don't do that all the time because you don't really want to do that with manual clutches like that. But, yeah. But, y'all, this is definitely the most fun toy that we have. And notice I said toy because there's absolutely no other purpose for this other than fun and playing with it. Definitely toy. Equipment, 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 toy, 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 toy. Definitely toys. Alright, so y'all, that'll be about it for this video. It took a lot to film this. Really hope you liked it. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe and click thumbs up all that stuff. Do it if you want to. So yeah, that's the racing go-kart here. Pretty fast. Let me know if you want to see any more videos with this. Also, we got a Amazon package coming for the racing lawnmower. So there'll be a video on that soon. So yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.